What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Division 2. Today I'm going to talk about the snitch and how he gives you a bounty to unlock the special vendor. Now my Elgato kind of was acting up when I recorded this, so I'm going to backtrack and show you where I'm at. I'm at the 1040 safe house. Of course, what you do is when you find the snitch, he gives you a, a bounty to unlock. Once you do that bounty, you will unlock the special vendor, which moves around the map. Now the snitch himself will be... Uh, a, a, a person that does move around the map as well he uh kind of moves around depending on what enemies are in the area so he may not always be in this location but this was the location i saw him the most consistently throughout my time sometimes i would get there and he would be gone but anyway when you're in 1040 you want to go out the southeast exit just follow the trail pretty much as soon as you go out the door and it will be down to your left in kind of a little corridor like i said he does move around the map I did check some other locations, but I did not uh, find him in that location. I had some friends playing with me. We came back here, and he was here again, and it was within about 10 minutes from the first time we saw him. But the first time, of course, what happened was some enemies did spawn up when he was here, and then he disappeared. As you can see, now that I've got the mission, he has disappeared again. But once you do the bounty, you will see this little white shopping cart on the map. Once you go down... Do that white shopping cart. Now, it does move around the map as well. It, this time, it was on the opposite end of the map in the sewer. We will find some gold gear. Now, this is not at max level. Of course, I'm over 450. But the good thing about some of this gear is it does have some decent stats on some pieces. So, you could purchase this gear just like you could from any other vendor just to re-roll some of the gear that you own now to change out the talents and or attributes. Hopefully in the future, this gear will be updated to be higher level. And as you can see in the top left corner, right above the knee pads there, that it does have a timer on it. At the time of me recording this, it was like a five day reset. So I'm assuming it's every five or six days when this vendor resets. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.